two stories. And it is important to know that it is always one of these stories, rather than the sighting of Jesus stories, that is assigned to Easter Sunday worship in nearly every tradition. It is also important to recognize that each of the empty tomb stories is different. That the New Testament authors make it quite clear there is no single unified picture of the resurrection in the tradition. Because of that, biblical scholars are agreed that Jesus' resurrection is not at all a miraculous return from the dead or something like a near-death experience. Rather, the empty tomb becomes symbol of God's victory over death. The body can be killed, but the spirit lives on. The spirit of Christ is not destroyed, but becomes even larger in the lives of all those who believe in Jesus. Here now, one of these empty tomb stories, reading from Luke 24, verses 1 to 12. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they came to the tomb, taking the spices they had prepared. They found a stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground, but the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you, while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified, and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary, the mother of James, and the other women with them who told this to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe it. But Peter got up, and he ran to the tomb. Stooping and looking in, he saw the linen cloths by themselves. Then he went home amazed at what had happened. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God.